Hi there, viewers. Have you been chugging pink liquid or popping in acids to get rid of heartburn? Sometimes you might need medication after the occasional hot wings or chili. But if bland salads and soups are causing you heartburn, then relying on medicine isn't the best. Instead, how about some home remedies? In today's video, let's discuss 12 effective ways to prevent and heal heartburn. You might have heard about drinking cold milk, but does it actually work? What about eating fruit? We're discussing all that and more. Do you have too many after-dinner mints? Spearmint and peppermint are active ingredients in many mouth fresheners. Herbal teas, candy, mouthwash, chewing gum, and toothpaste are all flavored with mint. Mint has a long history of medicinal use. Traditional medicine uses it to soothe stomach disorders, but surprisingly, it's not for everyone. Peppermint oil can actually put pressure on the food pipe and cause heartburn, especially a ring of muscles that guards the opening of the food pipe. Peppermint can even irritate the insides of the food pipe, causing restlessness. The cold feeling in your mouth after you have a mint is because of menthol. It gives mint a typical taste and aroma, but that too could have a negative effect on your digestion. If you're always suffering from gastroesophageal reflux disorder, or GERD for short, then menthol could just worsen it. Stop eating mints for a few days and see how it feels. If your symptoms improve, then bingo, you've found the culprit of your heartburn. Get your medicine checked. A few medicines, especially antidepressants, hormonal supplements for postmenopausal women, painkillers, and medicine that increases bone density can act as irritants. The problem starts when the food pipe opening doesn't close completely once food passes to the stomach and allows the backflow of stomach acids into the throat. You may feel a little hoarseness in your voice or something like a sore throat. But if you're having these symptoms without any other signs of viral infection, then the change could be because of the acid reflux. Strong medicine can worsen acidity. If you're on regular medication and experiencing heartburn, then just talk with your doctor. They may prescribe you a different medication. Let's break the myth of cold milk. Do you grab a glass of cold milk or a scoop of ice cream to reduce acidity? Acid reflux can cause a continued burning sensation that can be discomforting. When you consume cold milk, it creates a pseudo feeling of subsiding the burning sensation. You get the same feeling even if you drink ice cold water. But unfortunately, milk is one of the old remedies for heartburn. The calcium from milk might help to prevent the acid buildup and absorb excess acid, but milk as a whole stimulates your stomach to produce more acid. There are scientific studies that say consumption of dairy food worsens the symptoms of GERD. You can try chilled non-dairy milk like oat, soy, coconut, or almond milk. Consume it as is without adding any sugar. Is banana your favorite fruit to snack on? Bananas are a cheap source of nutrients. They're available everywhere. They may lower your risk of stroke, keep your bones healthy, and help your muscles to work better after fatigue. But there is a dark side to bananas. According to a study, people who ate raw, ripe bananas or added them to their porridge had high values of gastric acid. It could be dangerous if you're already suffering from stomach ulcers. Plantain or unripe banana, on the other hand, is pretty bland. You can use it directly in your food or use plantain flour to reduce symptoms of hyperacidity. Are you adding too much raw onion to your food? Onions are a crunchy, culinary addition to your dishes. They add an aromatic punch to your salads and salsas. But do you burp a lot after eating them? This is a clear indication that your stomach is producing more gas to digest it. The fermentable fiber in the onions makes your gut work extra hard to digest. In some people, it can even irritate the delicate lining of the esophagus. You can still get the goodness of onions without having to eliminate them completely from your diet. Just a light saute or slow roast mellows the onions and reduces heartburn. Loosen up the tight clothing around your waist. Are you fond of body-hugging clothes and tight belts? If yes, consider loosening the belts or wearing loosely fitted clothing before your meals. If you find the elastic of your other clothes too tight, then consider buying larger size clothes or an extender that will give you more space for your body. Studies have shown increasing abdominal pressure by a waist belt can increase the reflux disease after a meal. Skinny jeans, way too tight body shapers, and corsets can make a fashion statement, but they're just uncomfortable to wear and are not all health friendly. Are you having citrus after your meals? Most of us enjoy a sweet bite at the end of a meal. When you're health conscious, you might have the urge to replace desserts like cakes and ice cream with fruit. One might think of this as a healthy swap, but in reality, it just ramps up acid reflux. If you're having oranges, limes, kiwis, berries, pineapples, papayas, or mangoes, then they could be dangerous. A review found multiple studies stating dietary intake of citrus fruits after meals have a direct relationship with reflux disease. Remember to have these fruits before having food. Chew gum and ease acidity. 
Gum has been a favorite treat of everyone, right from teenagers to athletes. It not only shields garlic and onion breath, but the sugar-free variety can actually help you ward off cavities. Popping chewing gum can not only be fun, but can have a scientific benefit too. Science has shown gum that contains bicarbonate can neutralize acids that cause reflux. Additionally, chewing gum can stimulate the salivary glands in your mouth and increase the production of saliva. When you swallow that saliva, it effectively stabilizes the acids in your stomach. But if you've ruled out peppermint as it increases your heartburn, then just stick to fruity flavors. Ditch the cigarettes. There are millions of reasons to quit smoking, but if you really need it, here's one more. Smoking can make the acid in your stomach go wild. They reduce the salivary flow in your mouth. Since there is less saliva to neutralize the acids, it gives a burning sensation. Nicotine from cigarettes can also cause a backflow of acids in the food pipe. Overall, it slows down the clearance of acids from your esophagus. Your body will immediately start recovering once you decide to quit smoking. You can try nicotine patches and gums to overcome the addiction. Choose your drinks wisely. Do you end up with a glass of wine before hitting the bed? You may think that glass of wine will lull you to sleep, but in reality, it actually does the opposite. Alcohol relaxes your muscles, including the entrance of your esophagus. After that, the stomach acids can easily pass to your throat and cause heartburn. The same goes for coffee. Your morning cup of joe can cause acid reflux. If you fail to have a good breakfast with coffee, then sour burps will soon herald heartburn. With alcohol and coffee out of the scenario, the next common drink that goes with food is soda. Folks having GERD must avoid hard seltzer water and soft drinks. The fizz from the beverages can make you burp even more. This will release gas and cause acid reflux. That's why it's best to stick to water during or after meals. Make it a point to sleep on your left side. Pesky heartburn can keep you up the whole night. Even if you're doing everything right about what to eat and what to avoid, your sleeping position can determine a lot about where your stomach acid moves. Your stomach is a concave organ and is situated on the left side of your body. When you sleep in the left lateral position, the contents are unable to reach the entrance of your food pipe. But if you sleep on the right side or on your back, the acid can easily hit this spot, flow through the food pipe back to your throat. If you want to ensure you're sleeping in the correct position, just prop up the head section of your bed. Use an inclined plate under your bed, but avoid stacking pillows as it can cause neck and back pain. More on what and when to eat. Does your daily dinner sound like gobbling up a large spicy pizza and then immediately hitting the bed? If yes, there are a couple things that you might want to change. Spicy and fatty food has been studied to cause acid reflux. Stick to mild foods that can calm down the stomach acids at night. Instead of gobbling up a whole pizza in one go, try having frequent smaller meals. Overeating can put a lot of pressure on the food pipe and cause heartburn. Remember to finish up your dinner at least three hours before sleeping. This will help the acids to settle down before you lie flat on the bed and prohibit reverse flow. A sharp burning sensation in the middle of your chest is bad, but do you know what's even worse? Gout. It is again caused by acidic foods and elevated uric acid levels. Want to know more? Then check out our video, Lower Your Uric Acid Levels Naturally with These 10 Effective Methods. Or have gout? Eat these six foods and stay away from these four. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn how to save your joints from swelling. Have you found your reason for heartburn? Let us know in the comments below.